What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Color Nation Media and welcome back for another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Nuzlocke. Today we are going to be heading on over to Paniola Town, which should be right about here. But before we do that, I do want to check our team in case we do have to battle or anything like that. Um, there might be like Team Skull or something. We're actually pretty injured. That's not the best thing in the world. So how about we... Put Ronald in the front and do I really want to use a bunch of potions and stuff I don't know because we could just have a Pokemon Center right here so yeah it's probably not worth it I'm pretty sure we got all the items and everything that I needed to get over here so let's just head on up into Paniola town and see what is here is this the ranch itself it kind of looks like a ranch. Oh look, a random snubble, okay. All right. Cutscene, I know everyone is shocked that we have a cutscene less than a minute into this video. Maybe a little after a minute, but whatever. Hey Cole, glad I ran into you. So we can see who's stronger now. All right, so we're gonna battle. All right, so he's got the ability to use Z moves now as he says. He has a Z power ring, or whatever they're called. He did actually heal up all of our Pokemon, which is just super lovely. All right, team, Brian and Pikachu and everybody, you ought to all be bursting with energy after eating a pile of my mom's special pancakes. So let's show this newbie what Alola's got. All right. Unfortunately, we were not able to get any special pancakes, but we should be able to win this regardless. He's got four Pokemon this time. I don't know if he had that last time. I thought he had three. He had like Noibat, Breon, and Pikachu. I think that was it. All right, so we got the type advantage here. This thing's only level 16. We don't need to use our Z move, obviously. I really would like a grass Z type. Z type. Z move. There's no such thing as Z type. Oh boy. What are we doing here? He can only use one, right? Breakneck Blitz. Breakneck Blitz. Why can I not pronounce the words today? Uh, I'm a little bit scared about this. That did nothing. Oh my gosh. That literally did like zero. Pretty much. That was the most unimpressive Z-move attack I've ever seen. That is bananas. That wasn't even a resisted hit. That's a lot of experience points as well. Pikachu is coming out next. Who do we have that wants to take on Pikachu? Anybody? Um, a little bit afraid to send in one of these frailer Pokemon at this point on a Pikachu. I mean, not that Pikachu is like super strong or anything, but I don't have any like ground types or anything. If I did, I would send the ground type out, but uh, let's just stick with Ronald. I will just stick with Ronald for this, and we can go for Razor Leaf. Electro Ball. Uh, I was about to say, that did a decent chunk, but that was because it was a critical hit. And that's almost a one-shot. Um, let's just go for Ominous Wind, I guess. Why not? It's going to go for Electro Ball again, which has an amazing animation. But it's really not doing that much, because I guess Pikachu is not that much faster than Ronald. Ronald is just a beast. Just a beast. Alright, so we got his starter Pokemon. We got Pikachu out of the way. We know we still have to deal with Noibat. And I don't know what his other Pokemon is. To be honest. Iganocha, grown up to level 17. Rivera, grown up to level 18. Zimbabwe, grown up to level 15. And trying to learn Rock Throw. Thank goodness. So we can probably get rid of Sand Attack. Because I don't see myself ever really using that move. To be honest, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. So now we have Stab. Kyle grown up to level 15. Everybody is growing a level. It's it's out of control. Seismic Toss. I don't know that I want to teach you that. I do not know that I want to teach you that. I think these other moves are going to be more useful. So, yeah. We're going to keep our old moves. Let's see what else he has here. Here comes the Noibat. And we do have a Fairy type. So we're going to go with Ikunoche for this one. Now it could have flying type moves, which would be super effective and probably do a lot of damage. 
But with a level advantage, I think we should be okay. Like, Noibat's not that strong. And we have Draining Kiss, too, of all things. We could paralyze it on the first turn. But I don't know if that's really going to do us any good because this thing is probably slower than Ikenoche. I'm going to guess. So we're going to go with Draining Kiss. We are actually faster. And let's see how much this does. Is that going to be a one shot? No, it is not. And we do have to get hit with Bite, which does absolutely nothing because it's not very effective. And yeah, we're just going to finish this off with a nice Draining Kiss. Draining Kiss is going to be a very, very useful move. I can I can feel it. That HP Restore is going to be super clutch. Let's see what his last Pokemon is. It's going to be Eevee. Okay, fair enough. Well, I will definitely send in Kyle for that. We might even be able to one-shot it with a Brick Break. Brick Break. I can't talk today. Oh, I don't know what's going on. I'm saying words weird. It's just... It's just a weird time. Let's go for Brick Break. He's gonna go for the Quick Attack. And why does Eevee look so brown on my screen? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if like the colors are just saturated or what, but he looked extra brown. Not that I'm complaining. Nice, how'd you come up with that kind of battle plan? You gotta tell me. Just be a competent battler, jeez. And don't have a type disadvantage with your starter Pokemon. That's all I can say. Man, eh, and that was some kind of battle. Brianna and everybody all look like they had a blast too. Yes, you got demolished by Ronald. That must have been just the, the most fun you've ever had. Right then, here. I'll share my bit of good luck with you. How do you keep getting all these items? Don't understand. You know how the totem Pokemon are all like... Surrounded by some aura of power if you use a dire hit on your Pokemon and manage to land a critical hit that aura won't mean a thing You might want to try using some of those Rotom powers when you're fighting a totem too. Yes, that might actually be a good idea It's probably some good advice So all right, anyway, I'm heading off to Paniola Ranch. Okay, so that's got to be a different location than here Perhaps that's further north I don't know Paniola town the town we develop with our Pokemon that is the most basic name for a town ever. Not name, but slogan, whatever you want to call it, catchphrase. Uh, if you hadn't noticed, I'm a Pokemon too. I've been in lots of battles. See if he wants to battle again. I'm having a good time just being here in the decks, actually. It's really fun. Okay, so that's just, that's just great. Can I talk to this guy? Doesn't want to let me. Can I talk to the Miltank? Yes, I can. I talk to the Miltank, but not the guy. And Miltank says, Moo. Oh, why, hello there. Why don't you take a bottle with you? A bottle of what? Moo Moo Milk. Okay, that is pretty good because it restores 100 HP. That's kind of a lot. That is kind of a lot. Oh, we can go in there. If you clear Kiawe's trial, then you can ride on the back of a real Charizard. You can actually fly through the sky. Well, that sounds like fun. But we have not made it there yet. Is this his house? fire types here. Just a random magmar. I'm on the hunt for stickers because everybody likes stickers. See one. I see one just chilling back there. What are we up to now? 23 totem stickers. I feel like we're doing pretty well with that. Magmar knows when to use Ember, Flamethrower, Fire Blast to get the strength of the fire just right. It's super helpful when I'm cooking. Well, apparently... Magmar is a master chef. Head on upstairs and see if there's any items or what not up here. Look, another Magmar. Hello. All right, well, let's go in some of these rooms and see what is in here. A lot of nothing. Oh, I'm glad I came in here because there's a sticker. Can I go through here? I can, the rooms are connected, all right. Uh, but there's nothing in here. Just a random bed that I can get into. Why Why does my character always want to get into these beds? Like, I don't understand. We just go into people's houses, go into their bedrooms, and then just lie down in their bed. Oh my gosh, there are a lot of Agmars here. Excuse me. He pulled out a nice, toasty quick ball from, well, somewhere. Do I really want to accept this? 
It's Toasty Quick Ball. Apparently I do. Apparently I do. There's nothing else in here. I mean, even if there is, I don't think I can get around these magmars. All right. So that's it. Just a couple of stickers and a toasty quick ball for our troubles. So, yeah. I suppose we should heal up at the Pokemon Center again. We didn't get healed up after the battle, right? Just before. Uh, no, we did get healed up after. I definitely took damage. How about we put... Zimbabwe at the front because why not I want to use Zimbabwe especially now that he has stab so now that she has that I think it was a girl Panioli Ranch lies up this way it's pretty far through he there to Brooklyn Hill okay I don't know what Brooklyn Hill is but we're gonna find out apparently folks have been riding on Tauros in the Alola region since way long back I guess you can understand how ride Pokemon become such a part of everyday life here well, I suppose we can go into the Pokemon Center regardless and see what is in there. Is there any place I can, like, go into down here? Apparently not. I don't think I talked to this person. They say that back in the days when there was nothing here, not even this town, the people and the Tauros used to roam in hordes. Yeah, this definitely has, like, a, like, old western kind of feel to it. Alright, let's check out the Pokemon Center. See what's in here. Perhaps there is something of worth. Paniola is a small town, all right. We get by because we share our work with our Pokemon and they deem to help us with it. Well then, isn't that just lovely? Another Miltank. Everybody here has Miltank and Tauros, I guess. You know how sometimes you seem to be alone, but you feel like someone's watching you? Do you think that's the Guardians watching? Nobody knows. I've only met one of them so far. The folks at Paniola Ranch made all those big ramps in the fields around the ranch to help their Pokemon build up strong hips and legs. That is interesting. Okay, do we have any TMs here? No, but we do have some interesting Pokeballs. I don't know that I want to spend my hard-earned cash on that, though. Alright, so there's really not that much of worth in here. But I thought I would check it out. Let's see what's this way. Oh, we got Team Skull here. And what is that? A Vulpix? It's an Alolan Vulpix. Yo, 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 Vulpix, give me that bottle cap. Vulpix has a bottle cap, and it does not want to share. Wow. Please stop. Yeah, seriously, stop harassing this, this innocent Vulpix. That's not cool, man. What you looking at? What's this Pokemon need a nice bottle cap for? I'm just going to put it to better use, that's all. I mean... Are you trying to get it to, like, jump or something? <laughs> because these dance moves, man. I don't know what to make of the dance moves. You there, do you think you can help? Sure. Please stop doing whatever it is that you're doing to this poor Vulpix. You want a piece of me? I'll show you what happens when you mess with Team Skull. So is this going to be, like, a double battle? Or do I have to battle them one after the other? We're going to find out. We're going to find out how this is going to work. Let's see. No, it's just the one guy. Alright, so it might be back-to-back -back battles. And he's got a Rattata. Was that a nest ball it was in? That's pretty cool. That it's just not in a regular Pokeball. Alright, this thing should not have anything to hit me with super effectively. So we should be safe to stay in and just go for Rock Throw. It is faster than us. That did a lot of damage, and we flinched. So that's really not so great. Uh, we probably could switch in Ikenoche here. And if Ikenoche happens to take a lot of damage, we're probably going to have to go into Ronald. I don't know what else we would have for this thing. Or perhaps Mankey. Okay, Bite does not do a whole lot. And we could go for Silver Wind or Draining Kiss. And I'm gonna say let's go for Draining Kiss. We actually do outspeed this thing, which is nice. This might be a one shot. Nope, just barely not a one shot. Let's see what he has to hit Ikonoche with. Just gonna go for Focus Energy. That's fine by me. That is fine by me, although we might see a Quick Attack coming here. Let's go for Struggle Bug. I think it really matters. Yeah, here comes the Quick Attack and the Crits because you just have to get that damage in. 
have to get it in. Alright, so that's really not a lot of experience points. But Taran did grow to level 17, even though Taran was not in this battle. And I don't know what level Taran evolves at. Is it 18? Is it 20? I think regular Rattata evolves at 20. I think. So maybe the Alolan Rattata evolves at the same level. I don't know. It's all your fault just because you wouldn't hand over that bottle cap. Really, you're going to blame the Vulpix? Not cool. Not cool. Yo, you got lucky, Vulpix. Don't count on people to help you next time. What do you mean next time? How many times are you planning on harassing this poor little Vulpix? Oh, thank goodness. Everything's going to be all right now. Yes. Do we get to keep the Vulpix? Because that would be amazing. Oh, no, it's... <laughs> it's running away. Oh, that's... That's a little bit unfortunate. Maybe eventually we can? If we can encounter it again, that'd be cool. It'd make this old lady happy if you'd come back tomorrow, too. Okay, maybe it'll be back tomorrow. Okay. Hello. Oh, look at that rock ruff of yours. It weighs less than 110 pounds, and it shouldn't take too much damage, even if it's hit with a move like Grass Knot. It's great how you can check the weight of your Pokemon and info like that in your Pokedex. Well, yeah, it wouldn't take that much damage, but unfortunately it is weak to Grass Knot as well, so that may or may not make up for the low weight. I'm not sure. I am not sure. I know that I would not want to stay in on, on a Pokemon that would most likely know Grass Knot anyway, so... What can I say? What can I say? So we're going to head on over to Paniola Ranch. And I don't know, don't know what's going to be over here. A little bit afraid. I feel like we might run into some trainers that have like Miltank and Tauros and stuff. So I kind of want to send Kyle in. Because we can Brick Break and all that, all that fun stuff. Rotom is sad yet again. Oh my gosh, I feel like I have been tapping you constantly throughout this episode. And it is time for Rotolato. Oh joy. Who doesn't like some good Rotolato? Oh look, we got a red arrow. That is my most favorite Roto power. Roto boost. Alright, cool. That just boosts the stats of your Pokemon. Whatever. Not using that right now anyway. Everyone who works on the ranch loves a good Pokemon battle. Yes, I figured we were going to run into stuff like that. So these people are going to be battling us. Who are you waving to? There's nothing over... What is wrong with you? Alright, apparently this old lady is looking for a battle. We're going to give it to her. Eat well, sleep well, then it's time for a proper battle. This lady has her life figured out. She knows what it's all about. Madame Elizabeth. She sounds like like royalty or something. Carbink, that is not a Tauros or a Miltank. How dare you? And I don't have low kick to hit this thing with. Uh, what are the chances this thing has something dangerous? Like, does is it gonna have a fairy type attack? I don't know that it will at this low level. We can try Brick Break. Let's see how much that does. It's going to be a neutral attack. It's going to take several hits because Carbank has stupidly high defense. Sharpen! Now I'm a little bit scared. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. Hopefully this person does not have potions or we're going to be in trouble. Rock Throw. Okay, that shouldn't do too much even at plus one attack because it is resisted. Okay, two more. Two more Brick Breaks or a crit here. Nope, we don't get that. And we see the Smackdown. So you have Smackdown and Rock Throw. Still no Fairy type attacks. And even if you... Why do these people have full resource? And why are you using a level 15 Carbink? Oh man, I'm going to have to heal after this next attack probably. Sharpen. Maybe I should heal right now, because now I might be within crit range. Ah, uh, that full restore just ruined my life. Use a potion. I don't want to take any chances with crits if I can avoid it. We might have to, 
But if I can avoid it, I would like to. Okay, sharpen. Okay, I don't think... I don't know why I'm saying the word okay so much. I don't think that we can get knocked out from a crit here. I think we're safe. The dangerous part is going to be if we see another full restore. Smackdown. Okay, don't get a crit. All right. Yeah, we would have been safe there. We're not safe now, but we do have to speed this thing. Six brick breaks. Oh my gosh. That's out of control. That is out of control. That's a huge chunk of experience. At least we got 3,000 buckaroonies out of that battle. That was crazy. A trainer's Pokemon don't grow if they are left alone. Although when I eat meals, I naturally grow horizontally. <laughs> Uh, not if you're eating the right food, you will not grow horizontally. Such. Uh, let's see. Who do I want to send out next? That's not Kyle since he's taking some damage. Um, I guess we'll go back to Zimbabwe. At least we resist the normal type attacks that I am hoping that we're going to run into. Paniola Ranch, welcome to Moo Moo Paddock. Moo Moo Paddock, that's a thing. Oh, you've got to be a trial goer, right? Well, you've got good sense of timing. The captain's actually here now, so come on. The captain? What What? What captain are we talking about here? I guess we're going to find out. Oh, I see a mill tank running around. I don't see any captains. Oh, there she is. It's that Mallow chick. Is she going to be the first trial on this island? And it seems like it. Thanks for stopping by! The Moo Moo Milk from Peniola Ranch is the best. It's so rich and creamy when you use it in white sauce and other things. Hmm, the taste can't even be described. Oh, okay. Well, I only have one bottle, so... I don't know if I'm going to use it for cooking. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. Probably just going to give it to a Pokemon that is almost dead. Oh, by the way, since I was lucky enough to run into you here, I'll do you a little favor. Stoutland was registered to your ride pager, just like that. Okay, so we can ride Stoutland like that guy in Hey Hey City. See, Stoutland can sniff out items for you that are buried in the dirt where you can't even see them. When you're riding Stoutland, press B to use the Stoutland search is what it's all about. Get up there and try it. There's all kinds of stuff lying around. So this is basically the, the item finder for this game. And Stoutland will bark louder and louder the closer it gets to some item buried in the ground. If you go all the way down Route 5, you'll come out on Brooklyn Hill. My friend Lana is up there, so say hi for, say hi to her for me if you see her. Why did she have to run? She must be late for something. Okay, so I suppose we can take out Stalin. Wow, this is fun. Oh, this little mill tank was shocked by that. Mill tank seems to be curious about Stalin. What if I pull out Tauros? Are we just curious about that too? Okay, we're just we're just curious. That's fine. Oh my gosh, I see a sticker in the water. How do I get that? Can I get a fishing rod maybe to pull that out? I don't have a fishing rod though. Um, let's check for some items, shall we? I'm sure there's something in here, right? Oh, we got something. We got something. Um. Okay, is the red... Okay, the red means that we are, like, on top of it. The blue just means that we've detected something. I see. I see now. Aha! A Moo Moo Milk! Okay, so now we have two. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Let's talk to you. Oh, Fooey, this rock rough that my friend traded me won't obey my commands, all because I don't have that many stamps from the kahunas. Yes, the power of stamps. Definitely. Let's talk to you. I can tell how many times you've had opposing Pokemon call for help during battle. If I use a mysterious machine that an enigmatic man gave to me, that is. I can tell you're opposing wild Pokemon call for help one time. Okay. But a Pokemon with a status condition such as being poisoned, paralyzed, or asleep won't call for help. That's what you guys were telling me in the comment section. So, I don't need to talk to you guys, because... Oh! Maybe I do, because you give me items. Five adrenaline orbs. I still think it would be better if we could purchase them from shops. Haven't seen it at the Pokemart. Maybe I can 
grab them after getting like more trials completed? I don't know. Are you curious about why there is a huge ranch instead of a big city right slap in the middle of Akala Island? Mm, all right, yeah, I'll I'll bite. Oh gosh, we have a cutscene story here. This area, which is called Paniola, is a very old place in the history of Pioneer Alola. When our ancestors drifted to the islands in Alola and decided to live here, the land was not habitable. So our ancestors developed the land with their Tauros just as they did before they came to Alola. They kept the most fertile land as a ranch, so they wouldn't forget their, their gratitude for Tauros. I see. I see, that was very, very informative. Stanley can help you find hidden items in the ground that you can't see with your eyes. All right. Hello, Tauros. Can I just scoot back here? There's a sparkling sticker. Perhaps you could snag it with a fishing rod. Okay, well, we don't have a fishing rod. Oh. What is going on with this Tauros? What is the haps with this Tauros? I wouldn't tease that one. If you do, he'll buck and kick you. That is rude. Tauros are generally known as spirited Pokemon, but this fellow is pretty feisty even for a Tauros. But I guess it's not that surprising considering how new he is to the ranch. Ah, he's a newcomer, huh? I'd like him to train to become a ride Pokemon, but I can't even put him through his paces if he bucks at every little thing like this. Alright, so what do we need to do to help this Tauros get used to his, his new home here? I guess we'll need the mistress's skill for this one. Uh, who is the mistress? The mistress of Paniola Ranch, of course. She can get even the most unruly Toro snapped right into line. Right then, it's time we call the mistress. Okay, let's see who this mistress is. <laughs> it's a literal milk tank. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny, but I do. Here she is, the mistress of the ranch. She says moo moo. So if that doesn't get you snapped back into line, I don't know what will. One roar from milk... Roar? Are we really calling what Miltank's cry sounds like a roar? Can we just not call it a, a moo? Mill moo. Wow. All right, here she goes. She's going to do her thing. Is it is it working? I can't tell. Kind of seems like Tauros isn't really listening. Well, they do say the stronger the Tauros is, the harder it is to control. Looks like even the mistress is having a tough time with this one. Oh. Maybe if he burns off a bit of excess, let me guess, we have to battle him. What do you think? How about taking on Tauros in a battle? Let's do it. Let's do it. This could actually be a tough battle, depending on what level this Tauros is at. Um, but we do resist the, the normal type stab with Rockruff. And we could switch in Ronald if we have to. It's really going to depend on what the level of this Tauros is. 15, that's not that bad. I don't know if we can take it on completely with Zimbabwe, though. I'm not sure that we can. Let's try to go for a rock throw here. Pursuit! Uh-oh. That's going to be dangerous switching out. Why do you... That was a critical hit! What just happened? It has plus six attack now because of that crit. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Ah. Okay, we're about to lose a Pokemon, at least at least one Pokemon. <sighs> Outrageous. If I switch, there's a chance I just get knocked out anyway. Um, I guess we're just losing this rock rough. Like, there's really nothing I can do about it. If I try to switch and he goes for a normal type attack, I'm pretty much dead with whoever comes in. If he if he goes for pursuit, I'm dead anyway, regardless of whether I switch or not. Cannot believe what just happened. Why did we have to get it's the most meaningless crit of all time? Oh, uh, he's gonna go for horn attack. Is there a chance we survive that? No, there is not. Wow. 
What am I going to do here? Is this going to end the lot? Like, of all things, this level 15 Tauros. Can we survive plus six heart attack with Ronald? Is that what this is going to come down to? If Ronald goes down, I think we just lose. I don't know that we have anything that's going to outspeed this thing. Uh, let's, let's check out. We got speed of 25 there. So let's check Kyle's speed. What is your speed, Kyle? What is your speed? 29? Is that going to be faster than Tauros? I don't know. What about Ikenoche? Let's check your speed. I know you're pretty speedy. You're pro you might be the fastest on the team, Ikenoche, at 32. Let's check Ronald. 35. Ronald that is actually a little bit faster. We could try to go for... Um, what is that called? Supersonic Sky Strike. I just don't think that's going to take out a Tauros. We gotta, we gotta try. I'm so stressed out right now that I had to lose Rockruff while barely using it. And that... Things would be fine. Things would be fine. I could have just healed up after that pursuit. And we could have switched out. It... I just, I, I don't even know what to say. The crits tend to never go in my favor, and I finally get one, and this is what happens. Okay, he actually goes for Pursuit. Why is he still faster than me? I have nobody that can outspeed this thing. Point Attack is going to take out Ronald now. Do I have any priority? Do I have Quick Attack on Terran? I really hope this guy does not have a Moo Moo Milk, or we just lost. Like, it's just over. Come on, Ronald. Take him out! It's Stab! No! Ugh. Why would he go for Pursuit there, and not just for Heart Attack? Is there a chance he goes for something like that's not an attack move? Horn attack is like 100% going to knock out Ronald here. But if I go, if he goes for Pursuit and I try to switch, he's 100% gone too. We do have Quick Attack and it's Stab. I don't know if that's even going to be enough to take out the Soros, to be honest. I have to hope he goes for Pursuit here. I really don't think he'll go for Pursuit. Do I try to heal up? I'm trying to, th I'm trying to think of a way. I know I'm taking forever to decide moves, but I'm really trying to think of a way to get out of this with Ronald still alive. And I just don't see it. Maybe it was a speed tie. Um, we just have to go for Razor Leaf. There's the horn attack. Ronald's gone. I can't believe this. Ah. <sighs> I really need this quick attack to take out this Tauros. I really need it to take out this Tauros, or this lock might be over. Come on, Terran. It's Stab. You are two levels higher. You can do this. Thankfully. Thank God. Yay. Kyle, go to level six. I'm so upset. I ugh. Looks like you worked up a fine sweat. I think Toros feels pretty I'm sure he does feel pretty satisfied. The jerk sandwich. How dare you treat Ronald that way? And also Zimbabwe. Wow, we get a scope lens so we can get more critical hits. Really? Really? That's what we're doing? I don't ever want to see a critical hit ever again. For or against. Just no crits. Why couldn't you have Intimidate? Why did you have to have Anchor? 
I uh, all right. We gotta move on. Gotta move on. I I've dwelled on this long enough. It's time for the death box to grow even larger. And we need to figure out who else we're going to add to the team now that we have multiple spots open. Ah, man. I really wanted to see Ronald get to his final evolution. And on top of that, we gotta take the, the Z move thing off of him, the Z crystal. Um, Ronald deserves better than this. He carried, like, the first ten episodes of this, this series. <laughs> uh, he had to lose to a plus six Tauros. Okay, we only have two options. Is that for real? Wow, our box is empty again. Okay. Goes our modest Ronald. And Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe lasted like two episodes. That's not that good. Alright, so we got Smoochum, a baby Pokemon. I don't even know how to evolve it. Hopefully it evolves at like level 20 or something and not via friendship. Um, and we do have Zubats. I'm pretty sure Zubat evolves to like 22, something like that. At least, well, is this a good nature? I don't know what Rash is. Is it positive special defense? No, it's positive special attack, so that's pretty good. And of course, I know that Jolly is going to be positive speed for Zubats, minus special attack, so that's fairly decent. Our highest level Pokemon is now Rivera at level 18. I might actually have to grind. Like that, this team is so weak. It is. And I don't want to... Brave nature, Ekanich. I can't believe some of these natures, man. Uh, we might have to grind. I don't know if I'm going to do that in between this episode and the next, but we are probably going to have to grind before we get to the next, like, trial totem battle thing. Um, so that's going to be coming up probably in the next couple of episodes. Um, we have to work our way through the ranch. And I'm sure there's going to be even more battles. Hopefully no more against Tauros. Uh... Alright, so we're going to call it quits here because we're like 38 minutes in. And that's a pretty decent place to stop. We didn't make that much progress. Um, but disaster definitely struck. I need a break before I record another episode. So uh, I will see you guys uh, in a couple of days. We probably will get an encounter for Paniola Ranch as well, so make sure you get your comments in if you'd like a Pokemon nicknamed after you. And we might even add it to the team, because I don't know... I don't know if I want to keep Smoochum on the team or not. I'm kind of... I'm kind of torn about it, because it's so frail, like, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to use it. I mean, really, all of these Pokemon are frail. Maybe if we can get a bulkier Pokemon... We'll see. It depends on what it is and what the level is and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, that's going to be for next time. So thanks for watching, and I will be back in a few days for the next episode. So until then, game on.